Hey, YouTube, I hope you're excited because it's time for another exclusive girl chat topic. And it's for your eyes only because, girl, we're not done chatting yet. Now, usually when you get hot and heavy in the bedroom, the clothes come off, right? But what if your man wants to keep his on? Well, a woman recently wrote into Irish Examiner to ask for advice on what she should do because her boyfriend uh, feels that way in the bedroom. She says that he's a great guy, but gets awkward about getting naked in front of her and that he refuses to take off his T-shirt uh, when they have sex. She said, at first she chalked it up to him being a little shy, but six months later, he's still doing it. So ladies, how do you feel about this covered up canoodling? I think she needs to help him feel better about that area. I yeah. think she's really insecure about it, and I feel for him. It actually makes me think that about when sucks. I go to the beach or the pool and I notice some people who swim with their T-shirts on. And if you're his lover, like, if you guys have intimate time, you got that chance to, like, make him feel really good about his body. Like, just touch him in places, compliment him, make him feel at ease to take his... his shirt off, because I know a lot of ladies who don't like to do it with the lights on, who don't like to do it, you know, without having some type of support to hide certain things. So imagine the, the tables being flipped, you know what I mean? Like, you want to make sure that guy yeah. feels really comfortable to ease that off. Just Normally, it's off. us that has insecurities. It's actually refreshing to hear a guy uh, feel uncomfortable when it's time to have sex, but six months... Six months, if the intimacy is not yeah. enough and he feels confident to take off his T-shirt, he may never take off his T-shirt, you guys. Um, the one item that I don't well, think is what if it really does look bad? Socks. I think it's really hard when you understand that society probably would say that this person's body is not the kind of stomach or chest that should be shown off at a pool, right? It's society definitely tells us that certain things... We gonna keep it real, we gonna keep it real. The show's called The Real, okay? There has been times that I've put something on and I go, oh, this is so, like, I feel terrible. Like, this does not look yeah. good on me. And right. a, a, a man of mine could tell me 27 times, no, baby, you look good. I like your stomach like that. But I know the truth. Like, I, there's, to some levels, I know this does not look good. So as yeah, much as you but could tell me... You, you understand? Until I genuinely yeah. feel that you kind of confidence, no, yeah. nothing he could tell me is going to tell me I should be walking around in a thong. But there's a difference. I'm not telling you to lie to a person and tell them what doesn't look good looks good. I'm telling you to love on them and show them that you love every part of them, even the wackest wax part of them. Got I it. know there's parts of my body that I'm not confident about, but when I got a man kissing, hugging, snuggling with those areas and getting all up in there and, you know, But just would you still really show into off it? those areas publicly? No, not publicly, but this is in lovemaking. I would take that's my shirt true. off. I would take Big my difference. I would take yeah. my shirt off to whatever that is yeah. because my man hugged yeah, it. Because like he likes Think it. about times where we've gained and weight. Think about oh, one one identifiable thing for all women is we may have a fupa, right? We may have a little that that area yeah. down there. Yeah, yeah. 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 And we be sucking it in. We be trying to get positions that are like the most comfortable yeah, to right? have it. But this it's position so is the true. worst because it be sitting right on your thighs. It's like a whole little Happy Meal right on your thighs. But when that man yeah. comes in there and sucks on it and loves on it and holds it, like you don't care. Then all of a sudden you just get wild with it and you you overlook it because he's so into you. He's not looking at that one thing like you are. So I'm just saying there's a way to have guys get that feeling from us too. That's what we say. Yeah. Massage him first. Take that shirt off and massage him. Relax him. Get him in, into the mood. Get in there. No, yeah. that is, that'll take that shirt off. It. And yes. take them socks off. Me, I hate that paying it. Take the socks and off. Take this damn socks off. Oh my all right, God. you guys. It's all the time we have for today. <laughs> Thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe to the Real Daytime's YouTube page. <laughs> Comment and below and let us know what you think and what you want us to talk about. And finally, nice. make sure you watch the Real every day. Check out our local listings. Until the next time, YouTube. Bye. <laughs>